Everything you need to know about schema markup in 2020. What is schema markup? Schema markup is nothing but a label that shares important information about your pages. It's a standardized format for identifying information and classification of your page content. It's a community-led effort and anyone can get involved and share ideas. It's a great place to troubleshoot problems and confusions with different snippet types. Google uses a few search tools to find your listing and position it in searches. One is a Google My Business event post, and the other would be to put in schema.org code in the event page. There are a few terms that you will need to be familiar with. Schema types, classes, structured data, rich snippets. Structured data describes what we are doing. We are providing clear, organized data about our content that the search engines could understand. Schema.org is a type of structured data. Rich snippets are widgets that Google creates using your data. Google might use one or more of these data structures behind its search results. You've got three main options for adding schema markup to your website. Add the markup code manually. Use the data highlighter. Use a WordPress plugin. But before you add anything to your site, check to see if the schema is already implemented. Option 1. Add the markup code manually. You start out by selecting your content type and inputting one of your URLs. Then, start highlighting and tagging different elements of your page. After that, click the red Create HTML button and grab your code. Option 2. Data Highlighter. Just plug in one of your URLs and tag it, just like you would with the Structured Data Markup Helper. Option 3. WordPress Plugin. You could get started with a WordPress plugin like Yoast. Its free version gives you the most basic schema types like organization, person, and breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs help display the hierarchy of your pages. You'll see them a lot in search results. Breadcrumbs show the hierarchy of your pages, product categories, and blog post categories. Person markup. The most common reason people want to use the person markup is to land rich snippets. Local business markup. If you're a local business, implementing the local business schema markup is a great step to take. Article markup. Articles can hold all of the basic data you'd associate with an article, such as its headline and date published, as well as its word count, awards it's won, and a short description of it. Other markup schemas are rating review markup, product markup, video markup, event markup, and recipe markup. You can use markups for your niche industry, your emails, go-to actions, events and RSVPs, order tracking, and more. For even more great information, check out the blog post at fatjoe.com forward slash schema markup.